Closure projects are used to build applications, services, APIs, web user interfaces, terminal user interfaces, in fact, anything you want to build in Clojure or Clojure Script. A template is a way to create projects with a particular structure, including configuration, source code, unit tests, and any kind of resources you're going to use. CLJNU is a tool for use with Clojure CLI tools to create new projects. It provides templates which generate a project configuration with Depths Eden. Use the app template when you wish to create an application that can run on the command line. Use the lib template when you want to create a library to be used by other projects. And use the template template when you want to create your own custom templates. This will be covered in the video Creating Custom Project Templates with CLJNU. The Practically Closure Depths Eden configuration provides a range of aliases for use with CLI tools. The Project New alias is for using CLJNU to create projects. This alias can be used with the M flag using the closure main style of options. The X flag can also be used, which uses key value pairs for the options and is using closure exec. When using the X flag alias by itself, it uses the lib template and project name practically playground by default. Open the terminal window and let's create projects using these templates. Let's take a look at what this command has created. The depths Eden file is the configuration for the project. The depths Eden file defines the directory paths that contain the closure code. In this case, it's source and resources. There is only one library dependency, and that is Clojure itself. Larger templates will include more libraries as dependencies. The depths Eden file contains several aliases. Test sets the path of the unit test code and adds a library for generative testing. Runner runs the unit tests via the Cognitect Labs tool. And the jar install and deploy aliases package up and deploy the library. Let's look at the project structure. The template has created project with parallel source and te test trees. This is a common approach to use in Clojure. Let's take a look at the source code. Each closure file has a namespace definition composed of the directory path and file name. Namespaces help the development team organize the code logically. The namespace definition is followed by a definition of the function called foo. The foo function takes one argument called x and prints out the argument as a string followed by the hello world. This is not a very useful function, so it's usually deleted or renamed. The matching test namespace contains a unit test for that function. The unit test is written using the closure test library included with Clojure. That covers the key aspects of this template. Switching back to the terminal, let's create a new project with the app template and a specific name of writing the default values in the project new alias. Let's inspect this project. The template is pretty much the same, except this time we're creating an Uber jar, which is typical for when you're deploying an application. The project has the same structure, Except this time, our namespace declaration has this gen class, which allows the application to be run from the command line when it's packaged up as a jar file. And it contains a function definition for the function called dash main, which is called by default when you run closure on the command line and specify the main namespace. To save typing when running the application, we can add an alias to the depths Eden file to run the project. For the ns default keyword, we're specifying the main namespace. And for the function to execute, we're sponsoring dash name. Write this to file, and now we can run it with that alias using the x flag and the alias name. Hello world. The project run alias is a useful one to add to your own custom templates or into the project depths.eden file. Those are the two main templates that come with CLJ new. A great number of templates have been created by the community for Clojure and Clojure script projects. A commonly used example is the Luminous template. Let me click into the web page. This template is very interesting because it provides lots of different profiles you can add, uh, configuring the template and the resulting source code that you actually get. Templates can also be searched for on the Clojure's website, the repository for Clojure libraries. For example, we can search for the FigWheel main template and we can jump to its website to see how to use it. Here we can see this template supports both uh, Clojure CLI tools and the lining and uh, build tool. Links to some of the most common templates are in the description of this video. The CLJ new tool can also use the community templates from lining and boot, creating projects with configurations for those build tools. A depth seeding configuration can be manually added to those projects to help run with Clojure CLI tools. Let's try the FigWheel main template, which I've used for the Closure Bridge London website and the Practically homepage. The instructions are using the depreciated version of Closure CLI tools. 
Well, that's easily resolved by using the Closure M Project New alias from the practically closure depths.in configuration. Here we're specifying Big Wheel Main as the template and practically landing page as the application name. The dash dash tells the Closure CLI new tool to pass the remaining arguments to the template itself to add the reagent library to the project. This is downloading a few libraries from the internet. We change directory into practically landing page. And again, we can change the alias just to use the M flag rather than the depreciated A flag and run the application. This downloads all the dependencies for the project and runs a website. So we already have a running application and we have a closure script prompt where we can start working with the REPL. Let's take a look inside this project. And we can see there are several dependencies uh, or closure itself, closure script and reagents. And this has been added because we specified the dash dash reagent option, uh, defining our sources as we've seen before. And FigWheel main uses its own aliases to build as we saw when we actually run the project. So running the project is using this fig alias and also the build alias. The fig alias is adding in some extra dependencies to a couple of libraries and some extra paths. And build is actually creating the JavaScript from the closure script and running the application. We still have the same source and test trees uh, with our tests mirroring our source directories. And the tests are using a CLGS test. And the main landing page is using uh, a few libraries, Google DOM and Reagents, and provides sample code, including a hello world function, which renders some text to the screen so we can see that the application is running. This is a very nice little template that helps you get going writing ClojureScript web applications and provides uh, examples of how to configure the project very easily. Now for a much larger project using the Luminous template, we specify the template name, uh, the project name, and this time we're also passing in options using these plus notation. These are profiles in Luminous that allow us to add extra libraries and code to use Jetty, which is a web application server, and Postgres, which is a database. This might take a little bit longer to run, and it may need to download uh, several packages from the internet. Let's take a look at what this template has created. There is no depths.eden file for this project as it's a lining and template. So we can have a look at the project.clj file to see the configuration. And we can see this adds in a numerous number of libraries as dependencies. It also has source path and test path and some other configuration for lining in. If we look at the project structure though, it is more involved, but it's the same source and test structure that we're familiar with. And the source codes is the same namespace definition and gen class as we got with the app templates. It's just that there is more example code in here to get started with. In this case, it is the mount lifecycle library that helps you start and stop services. And we still have a main function which is our entry point into the application. Templates like Luminous give you lots of really good ideas about how to structure your project, as well as lots of sample code that show you how to use some of the libraries that it's including. The project includes other files for setting up Docker, setting up Heroku, and the resource folder contains documentation and HTML that will be served up from the application even including cascading style sheets and JavaScript that make up part of the web UI. The Luminous template creates quite big projects, so you will need to invest some time in understanding how the project works. But there are lots of useful concepts to learn, even if you do not use a template directly. There are lots more templates available out there in the community, and we'll include a few interesting templates in the description of this video. Switching back to the CLJ new project, just a reminder that you can create your own custom templates using the template template, allowing you to define libraries, code, and configuration that is common to your own projects. These custom templates can save time setting up new projects, especially within a team or larger organization. See the practically video on creating custom templates with CLJ new coming shortly.
Thank you for listening to this video about closure templates. I hope you found it useful.